Rienica Dijkstra was born in Sittard, Netherlands, on June 22, 1959. In 1981, she studied photography at the Jarrett Rietveld Academy, Amsterdam. Dijkstra enjoys taking portraits of people on plain backgrounds. In her work, she tries to capture the transitions between youth and adulthood and pivotal moments in life. Dijkstra is currently 55 and works in Amsterdam. Dijkstra began her photography career in the late 1980s, photographing people in clubs for magazines. Some of her work was in the 1984 exhibition, but it wasn't until 1990 that she found her focus. After a severe bicycle accident, Renika produced a self-portrait of herself emerging from a pool as recovery therapy. She calls that her artistic reawakening. It symbolizes her strength and ability to recover from extreme circumstances. In the 1990s, Renika was commissioned to take beach-related photos for a magazine. She created a series of photos called Beaches, which is now one of her most famous works. These portraits were inspired by her own self-portrait and were exhibited from 1992 to 1996 in full color and almost life-size. Her subjects were adolescents and children standing awkwardly against the ocean's background. Dijkstra kept these portraits very simple, with only the sand and the ocean as the backdrop, so you had to focus on the little details on the person, rather than being distracted by the little background details. She waited a long time before taking each picture, waiting for the moment when her subject stopped posing for the camera. Dijkstra is fascinated with the celebrity culture and how it affects the way we project ourselves in public. Her series aimed to capture the awkwardness and insecurity that's exposed when you stop posing for the camera. Dijkstra likes to capture people during pivotal moments in their life. In 1944, she photographed mothers right after they had given birth, triggering uncomfortable responses from many, especially males. Several of her subjects thanked her for telling the truth through the photos. Renika's not interested in embellishing or idealizing anything. She wants to capture true moments and show the pictures of things exactly as they are, even or especially if that truth is often unseen or unnoticed. In 1993, she started the first yearly portrait series, where she photographed the same person sitting in a chair, documenting the subtle changes that take place over the years. One of her subjects was a French child who became a soldier. As she made the portraits, he seemed to always have the same expression, but on closer examination, she noticed subtle changes. Z the plain background and lack of surroundings in her work encourages viewers to look more closely and relate to her subjects, but at the same time, notice what makes them unique. Renika's first solo exhibition was in De Moor, Amsterdam. Since then, she's had multiple exhibitions located all around the world, including the International Center for Photography's Triennial of Photography and Video, New York, and the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art. In 2005 and 2006, her photography was toured through museums in Europe and New York. She has won multiple awards, including the Kodak Award and the Werner Martz Award. In 2011, she received an honorary doctorate from the Royal College of Art in London and was awarded an honorary fellowship of the Royal Photographic Society in 2012. Rindica Dijkstra lives and works in Amsterdam to this day.